what's happening people it's Courtney again um, do my predictions this time it's for UFC 1 and 5 that's going to take place in Manchester on Saturday the 14th of November 2009 um, it's Couture versus Vera so I'll just go down the main card and give you my predictions uh, first fight on the main card is Randy Couture versus Brandon Vera um, Randy Couture 6 foot 1 got a 16 and 10 record um, this guy's ageless ageless um, always willing to fight um, his last fight was a decision loss against Antonio Minotauro Nogueira which many claim to be fight of the year it's a very good fight um, got excellent wrestling clinch work dirty boxing takedowns and he's a very good guy um, very good fighter um, although his last fight he did get swept quite easily by Nogueira um, but he showed resilience when he got caught in the choke and a condo choke, which I thought Nogueira would finish. But he's fighting Brandon Vera, who's six foot two. Um, he's got an eleven and three record. Um, Brandon Vera's last fight was against Christoph Sosinski. Um, he beat him by a decision. Um, previous to that, he fought Michael Pat, and he finished Michael Pat with leg kicks. See, so people's take note. Someone got finished with leg kicks. Did you know that? Watch the fight. Um, yeah, as I said before, his his leg kicks and his kicking ability is really good. Um, very hard kicks. Um, Shushinsky, um, the Shushinsky fight, he laid loads of kicks into the ribs and it was bothered Shushinsky for the rest of the fight. <coughs> um, likes to keep out of range um, and lay the kicks and punches in. Um, doesn't get in too close, too regularly, just stays out of range. Um, He's only been stopped once in his career, I think it was, and that was against Fabrizio Verdun. Um, that was questionable as well. Um, but for this fight, I can see Couture's going to turn this into a wrestling match. He has said that. Um, so I think Couture's going to be going for the takedown. Um, Vera sprawl and his clinching will need to be very good for this game, for this match, sorry. Um, but I think I'm going to pick Vera to win the fight. For the upset, but he's gonna have to stay out of uh, Randy Couture's range. Um, he's taller than him, and I think he's got a longer reach than him as well. So I think he can stay out of range, and I think he can do the damage on the outside. But I'm gonna put Vera to for the upset, uh, and Vera to win. Um, next fight on the card is Michael Bisping versus Dennis Can. Michael Bisping is seven, he's got a seventeen and two record. Um, his last fight was a loss to Dan Henderson. Everyone knows about that knockout. Um, I'm pretty sure he's only just woke up um, but yeah this has good he's got good hands um, good feet um, he, I'm not sure about his wrestling and clinch work <coughs> um, but he seems to I don't know what it is but I think he, he seems to for me personally he seems like he throws a little you know tip tappy shots and they're not really effective um, but I've seen other footage where he can be effective. He does like to mix up, does like to be part of punches. Um, but he is open to, to submissions as well. If you look at his fight against um, Eric, Elvis Sinisic, he nearly got caught in a submission. Same with um, Eric, Eric Schaefer, nearly got caught in a submission. Just being reckless, bit really. Um, but he's fighting a well rounded guy, Dennis Kang. Dennis Kang's a third, he's got a 32 11 and 1 record fought all over the world uh, his last fight was against Xavier Pokum he beat him by a decision um, but yeah Dennis Kang is very well rounded very good hands um, and he, Jiu Jitsu is good as well he's very tough um, but for this fight I'm going to pick Kang because I think Kang's got the harder harder strikes and I think that's how it's going to end someone's going to get knocked out or TKO put it that way that's what I think is going to happen Um and I think Dennis Cam will do that. Next fight on the card is Mike Quickswick versus Dan Hardy. Mike Swick has got a 14-2 record. Um, he's fighting over American Kickboxing Academy. Um, he's on a four-fight win streak. This guy's got the ridiculous hands. He's just like, thought Vitor Belfort had fast hands. <laughs> Mike Swick's <laughs> very quick, very quick hands. Um, Overall, his stand was very good, um, and if this is this match is even. I think it's a very even fight. Um, 
Max Wick has only been stopped uh, once, I think. Um, that was the last time he was stopped by Chris Lehman in 2004. Um, um, and his last fight was against Ben Saunders and he just put a beat down on Ben Saunders so quickly as well. Um, but he's fighting a tough guy, Dan Hardy, who's 22-6. and six. Um, Dan Hardy's on a six-fight win streak. Um, he's won his, all his UFC fights. Um, very good stand-up. Um, very technical, methodical. He likes to stay out of range and he's a <coughs> he doesn't um get in mixing up too much. Um that's stay out of range, uses kicks. Um if he does get in close, that elbow's coming over as well to cut people. Um and his jiu jitsu is good. Um he showed that in the Marcus Davis fight. Marcus Davis was trying to pass the guard. <coughs> um and Hardy was replacing it all the time. Um, but this fight is very evenly matched um, I don't think either one's going to finish each other I don't think they're going to finish each other um, but for this fight I'm going to pick Dan Hardy by decision um, next fight on the card is um, the ultimate fight ultimate fighter winner season 9 winner lightweight winner Ross Pearson who's 9-3 and three, versus Aaron Riley uh, Ross Pearson, as I said, won TUF nine. Um, a very gritty fighter. Um, haven't seen him fight since he hasn't fought since then. But when he beat Andre Winner, <coughs> very close decision. Um, a lot of heart. Um, his stand up, <coughs> excuse me, his stand up solid. Um, I've seen his wrestling as well. Um, he's quite good. Um, having seen him train. Um, but he's fighting a very, very a veteran in Aaron Riley who's 28, 11 and 1. Uh, his last four wins have come via decision. Um, which I think he's changed, changed training camp as well. I think he's trained at Jackson. I'm not sure. Um, but he's a very, very tough guy. Um, he's fought over a lot of places where he fought in Pride. Um, Bodog, very well travelled guy, <coughs> but I think for this fight, um, I'm gonna go with the hometown kid again. I'm gonna go with Ross Pearson. Um, it's a very tough fight for him, but I think he can do it. I think if he's gonna win, I think it will via TK or KO. But I'm picking Ross Pearson to win that fight. Um, so I hope he does win. Uh, next fight on the card is James Wilkes versus Matt Brown. James Wilkes uh, was the other winner of the TUF9. Uh, he was a welterweight winner. Uh, he's on a four fight win streak at the moment. Um, he beat Demarcus Johnson very convincingly. I was surprised that that happened that way. Um, I was shocked. Very good. Um, I think he trains with um, Cummins train out of um, Eric Paulson's gym so you can expect a lot of leg locks and submissions um, but did get tagged a few times in the series um, and that's going to prove troublesome because Matt Brown who's 10 and 7 punches hard really hard just ask Pete Sub how hard Matt, Matt Brown punches um, he absolutely killed Pete Sub um, he's won his last two fights um, and this guy goes broke every time. But I think James Wolves can weather the storm and stay out of range and possibly lock in the um he's gonna submit him somehow. Um but I'm gonna put James Wolves for that fight against Matt Brown. Anyway, those are my picks. Peace. Um uh, check out thepainpalace.com, www.thepainpalace.com. Also check out Mixed martial, mixed martial marketing.com as well. And hopefully you'll see one of these on Saturday night. Or a few of them anyway. Anyway, peace.